हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू संगीता किचन डिलेट आई एम संगीता हियर होप यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल टुडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग अ पंपकिन सूप रेसिपी व्हिच यू कैन मेक इन अ प्रेशर कुकर यस यू कैन मेक इन अ प्रेशर कुकर व्हिच विल बी वेरी क्विक एंड इन द विंटर यू कैन एंजॉय दिस वार्म सूप रेसिपी विदाउट एनी हैसल पंपकिन इज वेरी रिलेटेड टू फॉल सीजन हैलोवीन और प्री विंटर वेजिटेबल यू कैन से and in the cold weather nothing can be more comfortable other than a warm bowl of yummy yummy soup from children to elder people anyone can consume this soup and this soup is very healthy and tasty also so without any delay let's jump on to the recipe here i have plucked all the pumpkin from my garden no no i am not making all these pumpkin into soup i am just going to use only two pumpkin to make the soup so let's get inside and i am going to let you know the exact measurement of the vegetable here i have taken one large onion of the weight is 206 g you can take around 200 g of onion and i have taken two pumpkin of the weight is 1017 g you can take 1 kg of any type of pumpkin you also can use the desi pumpkin also we also need 4 to 5 cloves of garlic for this soup which i have already peeled out now i am going to peel out the onion and then i will cut it into pieces In a preheated pressure cooker, I am taking three tablespoon of olive oil. Olive oil should not be heated too much, otherwise it will lose its nutritional value. After that, I am adding chopped onion into the oil, and now I am adding four to five cloves of garlic, and I am going to sauté the garlic and onion in medium to low heat. And in the meantime, I will cut the pumpkin also. so the heat will be very low otherwise the garlic and onion will be burned or brown which is not desired now i am going to discard the pumpkin seed completely you can take any type of pumpkin for this soup which is available in your locality now i am going to cut the pumpkin into pieces but i am not discarding the peel because in this pumpkin the peel is very soft I never discard this pumpkin peels because this peel is after cooking it is very soft and melt in mouth but if you are taking the desi pumpkin please discard the peel otherwise it will be very hard after cooking also after frying couple of minute i am going to add chili flakes 1 teaspoon these chili flakes can be adjusted as per your taste i am adding it for some heat and now i am adding salt and black pepper as per requirement Three pieces of vegetable stock cube. You can use any brand as per your choice. These are very easily available in any market. As this type of stock cube contains high amount of sodium, that means salt. So when you are adding salt to the soup, be careful about it. Now I am going to add hot water as per my requirement. As this 
pumpkin is not too sweet, I am going to add 1 tablespoon of brown sugar to adjust the taste. If you are making the soup with very sweet pumpkin, you can avoid the sugar completely. Now I am going to pressure cook the pumpkin soup up to 3 to 4 whistles. When the steam is completely absorbed, I am just going to open the lid of the pressure cooker. Now I am checking the pumpkin is already cooked or not. It is completely cooked and after cooking the peel is also very soft. And the next step is grinding the soup. I am using here a hand grinder but if you want you can transfer into mixer grinder also and in that case just let the soup cool down little bit after that transfer into the mixer grinder and blend it into a fine puree. Everything is finely pureed now and the super smooth soup is almost ready but to make it more tasty I am going to add fresh cooking cream 250 gram from that I will keep one or two tablespoon of cooking cream for garnishing. If you don't want to add cream or want to make it low calorie, you can avoid the cream and instead of cream you can use the full cream milk. If you are vegan, you can also add coconut cream instead of this cream. Now I am going to give a couple of boil to reach the desired thickness. This soup consistency is perfectly alright for me. I am going to show you the exact consistency. Here I have taken in, in a spatula. Now I am going to draw a line and the line is not disappear. So this is the consistency what I want. If you want to make this soup more thick, you can add less cream or boil it few more minutes to reach the desired consistency. Let's serve the hot soup. You can enjoy this hot soup with garlic bread or any type of bread as you want. Now I am going to drop some cream and I will make a design before serving just to make it more pretty. After dropping the cream, just make a line from the middle. If you want, you can do this also using a toothpick also. Toothpick will give you a very fine line. And at the end, I am just dropping some pumpkin seed, crunchy pumpkin seed on the top. Just make it more attractive and more tastier also. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. If you enjoy this recipe, please give a thumbs up. And if you are not still my subscriber, subscribe my channel. Share this video to your friends and family. I will be right back with a new recipe. Till then, take care and bye. And thanks for watching till the end.